Palmetto State Armore Freedom Line uh, AR. This is their basic, basic model. And I'm glad and happy to report that this is the first AR which completed uh, our 5,000 rounds uh, challenge. Uh, it wasn't without the hiccups, uh, we went through, through some uh, you know, ups and downs, uh, but uh, this is the only rifle which completed the all 30 rounds on the Sand Tornado test, so take this into the account. Uh, no matter what conditions of the wind were at that point, but it went through all 30 rounds and it is the first AR which completed the 5000 rounds uh, challenge. Rifle took a beating uh, during the, the course. Uh, I still think so that the rifle is slightly overguessed. As you can see, you know, there were numerous times when that gas was blowing uh, all the way to me. Uh, it doesn't feel uh, that much of the recoil, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing that they overguessed just a little bit. And maybe that's what helped that rifle to go through the, all the 30 rounds uh, on the center NATO test. But that's my pure speculation, guys. Uh, still, congratulations to Palmetto State Armory. Uh, now, how are we doing with the accuracy after all the 5,000 rounds? Uh, I shot today uh, and I scored uh, two and uh, like quarter MOA. Nothing spectacular. I was using standard the ZQI556 M855 MO. Uh, and uh, so this is not the match grade ammo, but two and quarter is respectable. Uh, guys, uh, if you do not have the better barrel on a rifle like this, it will be shooting uh, around 3 MOA. This is the 5X uh, Prism Scope from Primar Arms, uh, so this wasn't a you know, great, great uh, magnification as well, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm not that guy, you know, I'm not going to shoot uh, 50 groups and then choose the best one to show you guys one group with, uh, you know, one MOA. That's bullshit, okay? Uh, it's good enough to take this uh, rifle above uh, 500 meters. Uh, I shot today at 500 meters. Uh, you can see some hits. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the whole video. So this accuracy is good to take on this regular 18 inches target up uh, above 500 meters, uh, even with the windy weather as we got today. Now uh, to, the, to, the, to the beef, right? Let's see what's happening uh, inside and how we are doing. I didn't have honestly look into the guts of the rifle yet. Let me pull out the bolt, bolt carrier. I'll remove the charging handle. For now, I'll put this aside so it doesn't bother me. Today, I got this uh, so we can clean up a little bit before I will start taking pictures for you guys and uh, see what's happening. Okay, first let me look at the front of the bolt. Everything on front of the bolt is looking good. I had no problems uh, with the ejection of the rounds or anything. Uh, everything was working rather good. Let me put that retention pin and try to not use it. Okay, firing pin. Let's see how we're doing on the firing pin. The firing pin it's all dirty, let me clean it so we have a better view and uh, to check if we have any, I don't see any deformations on the tip, maybe slightly a little bit, uh, no not really, that tip looks good, just the tip looks good uh, and uh, the back of the firing pin of course perfectly normal too, all good here, right, uh, let's remove the cam pin. That one is kind of stuck from all the dirt. Again, let me clean it so we can have a better pictures from all the gunk, guys. Uh, this is what happens when you shoot a lot, a lot of rounds without the cleaning. This, this just keeps piling up. All right, and let me check the uh, camping. I'll take a pictures. I do not see. Some of you were talking about maybe a crack over here. Uh, on the previous episode, but this is just the dirt, guys. That's just the dirt gunk, powder gunk. Uh, I don't see, honestly, I don't see, I'm trying to scratch it, I don't see any uh, cracks on the camping, and that makes me happy, because that was the problem with Radical Firearms uh, Bolt Carrier Group parts. So that one is looking good, and don't go. 
let me pull out bolt now bolt uh, obviously guys rings are still holding up uh, so but I'll, I, will, I will check later on if uh, they can you know withstand the basic uh, the cold armor test and I will let you know uh, how we doing here the locking locks on the back I don't see any cracks or anything uh, on the locking locks of the bolt everything is looking good uh, it's just worn, you know, you can see the worn out uh, marks and that's normal, uh, the rifle went through a lot Alright, let me clean it better I really don't see anything bad happening here, guys, all is looking good uh, and as I said, that's, that's a good sign because sometimes on the locking locks uh, you may have the problems and this is not the case how are we looking with uh, the bolt carrier? The gas key is still stuck nicely. That cutout here is looking okay too. Uh, front and rear, I don't see anything bad on it. Uh, charging handle, charging handle took a beating. That was during the drops, guys, as you know. Uh, but it's still functioning. It wasn't. It, it didn't get jammed. Uh, it's deformed a little bit here, but it's working. Okay, so it's functioning. And now let's have a look into the chamber and the chamber is still looking good to me it's a lot of dirt but uh you know it is what it is that's what happens it's not just it's not that bad to be honest with you we're shooting mainly the zqi ammo we shot some wolf too uh but uh this is this is not you know the, the, it's not bad them but not bad ammo at all magwell is looking good uh, as i said we had the problems at the beginning with uh, the uh, trigger group uh, but uh, after the drops we had no hiccups and we had the hiccups at the beginning the trigger was not resetting so i don't know that something was set uh, correctly at the beginning but uh, that problem went away and we didn't have it anymore all right all is looking good here uh, if you guys see something on the pictures uh, let me know you know uh, and and we'll address it uh, the front of the handguard uh, it was uh, as i said from the from the dumps magazine dumps uh, there's always that problem that the plastic will be melting out and no matter what kind of plastic you have it will melt okay there is a heat shield inside but it still was uh, melting uh, and other than this guys i don't see any you know problems on the front post uh, or uh, or uh, you know bail lock uh, nothing the rifle just survived uh, and uh, is looking good and I think so it's perfectly fine to use it uh, you we got the the marks from the drops on the uh, forward assist but uh, that's just cosmetics uh, issue no big deal uh, that's it uh, I would say that this is looking really good guys um, now the question is was it worth it uh the price uh it says 699 dollars uh a good price for that type of the rifle uh personally again uh if uh if i'll be uh looking for the ar i would spend a little bit more money and get the better quality barrel uh, this that's me because i'm obsessed with shooting at the extended ranges and that barrel when you shoot uh above a 500 uh meters uh and and farther away uh it will start showing okay it will start showing um, and uh even if we'll accept that uh, we are around 2 moa with that rifle uh, i think you can do better with the better ammo and uh, if you will combine the match grade ammo with uh, the heavy profile barrel uh you know and from the good source uh you can have a really decent performance uh on budget but that's me i would add a little bit more money and uh, upgrade uh even the Pal palmetto state armory offers a better uh barrel so this is their like uh, i call that budget starter line still did very very well look we are at the 5000 rounds and the rifle is one piece and it still shoots slightly above 2 moa right so that's impressive uh and uh, it is just tells you that uh you know that there is a lot of bad myths about the ars still you know good good uh, information i hope so that it will help you guys if you're looking for the basic beater uh, ar 
this is a good candidate uh, uh, if you want to upgrade i would highly recommend to upgrade and spend the money on a little bit uh, better barrel that's it please let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching